good evening, everybody, and Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange statement, but uh, we're entering the equinox of spring today, and this energy is a renewal. So what has been cooking through the winter and the darkness of the winter is now going to grow, to uh, explode. So energy are going to grow more based on the seeds that were contained in the winter time. So you understand what it means. And what we are going through uh, these days is an opening door for the whole next year until next April, at least. And there are signs of also long term uh, implication. So um, it's an amazing time. Um, I think we are at the, the door of uh, the coming of a uh, real chaos. And this is part of the regulation of our uh, planet and life and galaxies that uh, the order comes out of chaos. So again, this is a pair of opposite that we need to have them married in our consciousness. Uh, we can not take side uh, against or for the chaos. Uh, chaos is a fruit, a byproduct of a long, long-term evolution. And we have been through the last uh, uh, 2,000 years, 2,500 years, uh, evolving to uh, manifest this level of chaos. And uh this chaos is not a sign of a degradation as i was saying already this is the coming back of shiva for a yogi which means uh we're gonna we're gonna face uh, absolute transformative uh process and this transformative process has to come from somewhere of course, uh, it is more than 40 years I dedicate my life for the changes, but uh, I was not necessarily uh, taking uh, any side to generate chaos, even though I, I am perfectly aware that by helping people to grow and becoming more self-sufficient and self-empowered, it's a part of uh, what have create today uh, this chaos, but mostly is, ra or rather is to uh, give individuals uh, the power to stand for the new. So some people have to embody uh, the cause of chaos and uh, can carry this, and these souls are came at this moment to facilitate this process. So if you listen carefully, uh, I mean, first thing is you realize the media and televisions uh, are just uh, totally uh, nourishing a collective uh, uh, hypnosis and collective hallucination. So uh, we cannot uh, hallucinate ourselves with this little box. We have to be very, very uh, careful of what comes through our eyes, what touch uh, our consciousness, and what do we choose to let uh, come in our system. If you see since these 25 days, uh, what has happened is, uh, First, of course, we uh, realize Putin is mad, is crazy, is totally out of uh, order. And now we can see that Ukrainians are totally <laughs> Nazis, Nazis thesis and, uh, and totally corrupt people and everything. So 
if you see in this conflict, uh, there is no good, there is no bad, there is not anybody uh, when you see soldiers from Russian army or soldiers from Ukraine army, they die exactly the same. They end up dead people and this is human being we are losing on this planet. It's part of this terrible process of transformation. So, but the consequence of these people offering their life is uh, huge and it affect the whole planet. So it's not uh, people who lose life in vain. They are just the object of a mega process of uh, bringing chaos because how do you want us to the point of corruption we are in our society move into uh, enlightened and clear humanity is impossible. And that's what all the masters anticipate, and we always thought it very clearly. It will be a disruption. There will not be a continuity from the old man to the new man. It has to be cut, and we need to abandon so many things. And when I say we, I include myself. We are all addicted to very old pattern, well, over 2,500 years. So. When you look from a non-dualistic place, and this is fundamental now to meditate every day, all the practice we had are absolutely necessary to maintain a, a sane psychic energy and to remain in the center of power with yourself. This is fundamental. And if you let yourself uh, hypnosis by the uh, news that comes left and right. They are all lie. There is every news you get today is trying to pull you on one side or the other. And if you elevate yourself and you look at this uh, amazing disinformation or collective intoxication, you can embrace this whole chaos and see the play of chaotic energy who wants to destroy the old order. And the, the general order on this planet is falling apart and we are entering a portal for a whole year. So you can expect that within a year, nothing we know today will remain standing as it is. Uh, many, many, many things will change in our daily life and daily routine starting by uh, how can we uh, nourish ourselves physically speaking. So I'm not alarmist, I'm just showing that we are entering a very deep time of chaos, deep chaos, and through that you can already see the order. You know, when the, the farmer come with the plow to turn the earth upside down, it is a rape. Eh? He's raping the earth, he creates total chaos, so all the, the little, little micro uh, life that was living from oxygen and air is turning upside down and the earth that was underneath comes up. So it's a disaster, it's a total chaos. And still they believe when you can see it in such a, such a earth, it will grow. Of course it grow because we put so many chemicals that the, the seeds have no other option than to grow forcefully. I think our relationship to earth has to radically change. We have to stop to plow the earth and we have to have a relationship based on love and respect and understand how we can grow a soil perfectly uh, um, rich. Uh, and that is uh, everlasting rich. That means you stay like a, 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 a paste, something full of dynamic of life full of microorganisms and not a dead earth like we are living behind us today. What are we leaving to our descendant and to next generation is gonna be a hell on this planet. So it was the time for chaos and just welcome the chaos. This doesn't mean I approve Putin action in Ukraine. Don't misunderstand me. I am not a proactive for war, not at all. Absolutely not. But I am saying we need to take side and not for and against war or chaos, but we have to seed uh, the new order. And this start by yourself. 
So if you are subject to this controversial uh, news, you lose your energy, you become an instrument, a subject of this chaos. If you can step out and elevate yourself, if you can keep your frequency in a non-dualistic field, remember the matrix is universal. Our psychomorphic field is one from all humanity. Every single human is connected to you and you are a very important person. Don't underestimate yourself. Whatever you think, whatever you feel is affecting the whole planet and you are a very important person. So watch out what you think, what you feel and where you focus your energy is highly important. Remember one thing, I have been there 40 years ago and one man came, he was a master, he touched me and with him, we have touched millions of souls, millions. It has changed the destiny of millions of people over years. So remember high, high level frequency people, only two person can affect the whole planet to elevate. Only two person. It's not even the law of the 101 monkey, it's much more optimistic. We don't need 50%, 30%, 20%, we need two person of real, true people, true human who wake up out of this chaos and get out of duality and maintain and vibrate this fre fre frequency all around the planet and we are all connected. So remember between three and five in the morning or wherever as early you can join the channel of people who are non-dualistic meditate on the oneness, elevate your frequency into a space of unconditional love, empower yourself and be stable and consistent. With that frequency, you can totally contribute in bringing the new order on this planet. We don't have to do things, we have to be. And of course, today people are lost into action and these actions are not based on awareness and consciousness. So it will end. And as quick this can end, it will be dramatic for many people. But uh, why should we stretch longer that period of time? We just let it be and not be solid and supportive of this kind of chaotic energy. So I think it has a big choice now to realize you are a powerful human being and you can choose to go over this duality and vibrate another frequency. This is why we practice yoga. This is the essence of yoga, not to take side, not to nourish duality. I know it is very difficult, extremely difficult when you're facing a death and people suffering, but this is exactly uh, why we need to be ready because we have been living with suffering people all our life. We just decided not to look at it. Today, we cannot not look at it and we see this all around us and it will be more and more people desperate, losing sense, having no support, and even difficulty to live day to day life. So if you are this island of peace, if you can maintain that frequency and not uh, get uh, impacted by the hallucination, you will contribute to this uh, coming of the new order that definitely will come after this chaos. And it starts within the chaos, you know, order out of chaos. So this is a choice. So the first thing you can start, it is a spring energy and it is a beautiful time to clean your house and get rid of all things that uh, are actually uh, filling up the space with old vibration, old attachment and unnecessary energy, the dust in the corner and everything. So 
is a fantastic time to do the spring cleansing and watch out is also in your mind, in your emotion and in your physical body. That's why we highly recommend it to go for practice of nine days or 11 days of strong cleansing your physical body when you realize how much toxin you carry. It's a very, very good time to change this and to clean this deeply. Then in your emotional body, you can breathe, you can sing, you can elevate your frequency and transform all your sadness and uh, frustration, fear. So uh, this is another measure uh, frequency that is running around the planet is a sense of uh, global and security. Look how people already before all this story started, how many people are trusting the retirement plan and invest the whole life working just to save money for the old time. Yeah? And you were looking safety about insurance company. So this time is over. No Sorry, uh, Satyavrati, your, your mic is off. Just now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is it back? Yeah. Because here, here I see is working, so I don't know. Yeah, now it's, it's, it's back, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so where I was? <laughs> uh, emotionally transforming our emotion. I think I was on that level. Uh, cleansing our house. Uh, the spring cleansing and uh, transforming. So this terror and the fear and security is all over the place, knowing that before this whole story started, we were already looking for safety outside of ourselves. This is absolute nonsense. Universe is kind to you. That's the first definition. This is fundamental to live with that uh, frequency in you that you know universe is kind to you, especially when time become hard and difficult. I'm not talking from relationship to the outside where I'm talking in relationship to yourself. Where can you find safety? We have lost it, totally lost it because we only trust logic and we trust our mind, functional mind. Like this, you will never find any corner of life that can be safe. There is no, there is nobody you can trust. There is no system and social system you can trust. And there is no protection that one day or another can turn against you. You can save your money and you can disappear tomorrow. You can build your house and somebody comes and say, now it is mine. So where is your safety? The only safety you have the only safety you have is by rehabilitating your intuition. Intuition is a faculty of true human. You cannot live rational and knowing how much you're gonna pay at the end of the month and having your life dead every morning, you, you wake up, go to work just to earn money. This is over. You, we need to come back to a life that is intuitive, where every day you need to wake up and be awakened to go through the day. Like in, when we were lost in the jungle and you wake up in the morning, you need to drink and you, you start to follow a path intuitively that lead you to a spring. We have to go back to this time. I mean, not living in a jungle, but you need to activate your intuition. For what? to select what you want to think. This is pratyahara, you know, meditation is decide what you want to think. The all universe is a mind. Everything works in frequency of mind and that what create reality. You can contribute and co-create the reality with the thought you decide to validate. You cannot just be on automatic and only on limitative logic pair of opposite. Uh, you need to go beyond and you need to pierce this duality and find the wisdom again. Only through intuition, we find the wisdom back to us. So intuition means 
not looking through a, a, a sphere, a, a crystal ball and predict uh, what's going to happen to you next day. Intuition is a total trust on your sensitive perception that you exactly know and confirm where to be, when to be, with who to be. So this choice to take left or right and be sure that if you go left, you go in the right direction for you, this is being intuitive. You follow the synchronicity of the universe and you are guided and you know you're guided and it's extremely strong. The, the commitment to your intuition should be with not one single doubt. So look how many people live like this today. We have lost that capacity. We have to rehabilitate that if you want to be part of the new human. The new human will be intuitive and his life will be totally intuitive. That means we need a connection with other frequency who can guide us to know how to be in synchronicity with the universe, with the planet evolution and contribute to the balance and the harmony and not exploit this planet. So the change is huge, huge, huge. And you can start today. Not you can, you have to start today. So if you pretend that you are yogi and you practice yoga, you need to reunite the left and right brain to activate your frontal lobe and be creative and intuitive. This is a must, this is not an option. So if your attention is totally focused on the pros and cons for war, you're wasting your consciousness because this is not the battle. The battle is how can you raise yourself beyond duality and elevate yourself as an ascendant human and contribute by connecting your psychic to all those who make that effort every day to change the destiny of and contribute to the creation of the new human. So fear, don't fear the chaos, embrace the chaos. You understand? This is very different attitude. This chaos, when you look it from above, you see it's a necessity. You have to welcome it. And I know it is difficult. It's very, very difficult to understand that. It is a feeling of so much love that you can even tolerate chaos because it's part of the order. And we don't position yourself for or against, but just in another field of frequency. We need to establish our psychic in a very special waves today. And all our practice of pranayama, meditation with mantra and sadhana, these are foundation of a psychic human being that is extremely powerful. So why not to choose today to empower yourself and to really do this practice? <coughs> So ask yourself, where is your power today? Where is it? We feel powerless when we face all this, you know, United Nation and the NATO and the Russian and the Chinese. These are all government institution. We are individual human being and individually we are powerful being. We don't, and the order that was top down, the verticality of this order is falling apart. It is. And less you will uh, validate this order, quicker it will fall apart. But this, uh, the, 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 the uh, how you call this? Um, if you want to face a time when this order is falling apart, then you need to be responsible. It was easy to consider I elect somebody and then he rules the whole thing and I'm part of the, the game, but I play my game. And my game was, I want to be safe, isn't it? This time is over. There will be no safety anywhere you are and you have to rise to a level of responsibility that you not give away your responsibility to anybody else. 
we are fully responsible for the planet we live in. We have created this reality. So if we change it, we need to step up and to be fully responsible for our choices. So if you choose not to go for uh, hypnosis, hallucination and distraction, because today, unfortunately, these are the distraction we have on our screen. Then you have to go inside yourself. You have to close your eyes like the three monkey, you know. I, I didn't hear anything. I haven't seen anything outside and I have nothing to say about that. That's the posture I recommend to practice. And then from within, another voice will come. From within, you're gonna find this beautiful space of unconditioned love and peace because we are born in peace and we need to maintain that peace to any cost. You cannot let yourself distracted and taken out, just go inside. And in this place, you're gonna be calm. The first thing is find calmness, tranquility, beauty, refresh yourself. If you live in city, leave the city. If you live in the middle of the chaos, you don't have to stay there, you can run away and you will not be taxed to be a coward or a, a feeble person. You are just a conscious person who do not want to contribute to the chaos. So forgive yourself because you're not running for fear. You're running for courage to change and be part of the change. Yeah, give yourself a chance. So this is uh, what I invite you is to focus on the axis of uh, tranquility, peace, vibrate peace, share the peace. And of course, what's going to happen, you're going to attract, you're going to connect with your psychic to people like you. That's what I did for 40 years. I traveled all over the planet and I always met people like minded people with the same heart, with the same joy, with the same curiosity, with the same excitement about human being. So if your frequency is rising, you're gonna connect with the people who are maintaining the same frequency. So now our relationship will radically change. We have no idea what can be a relationship of peaceful and loving people from unconditional love. So we're gonna meet differently. We're gonna create new type of relationship and we are ready to discover that. And time is now for the year to come to unite. Yeah, drop wherever if you are in a place of conflict, confusion, because now even in the couple, you have somebody thinking for that, somebody against it. Eh? You are for the vaccine, you are against the vaccine. You are for the past sanitary, you are against it. You are for the war, you're against the war. You are for Putin, you're against Putin. Where are we going? Yeah. So leave, leave, just get away. You don't have to live in reality. Separation is the step to union, reunion. Find your crowd. Find your tribe is the time to move, move out of this chaos and meet. Meet in truth, honesty, authenticity. Find people who can trust you, that you trust human being deeply in their basic goodness. And that's what you look into the eyes and that's what you find into the people and that's what you're gonna share. So we're gonna meet again, we're gonna reunite again, and we're gonna find finally the most uh, precious value of human being is to be a social human, not a social animal, but a social conscious human. And we can start to regroup ourselves. My project with the school and why we talk tonight is that we connect everybody online and that you start to recognize you as from the same family, you are from the same tribe and your heart is vibrating in the same frequency. We need to support each other. We need to inspire each other. We need to help each other. 
and to find each other again, maybe you will have to delocate it yourself. Maybe you have to leave your country to find your tribe, your people. And we have few years to do this move, maybe one year, who knows what, when we will have to face condition even harder than today and only solidarity will help us to survive the chaos, the level of chaos we will be in. So these are so beautiful uh, endeavor, beautiful projection of tomorrow, because out of this chaos, we will find a new social order by uniting people to people. Government will not help us to reunite. Nobody from outside will help you to reunite. Reunite with your oneness and meet others who are on the same frequency. And we will find each other, I promise you, is no reason to miss, no reason for anybody to stay alone in the corner. Move yourself. But today it's become real. So uh, I think this is the message, uh, strong message. Don't give up into panic. Don't give up into fear. Don't run away from your place because you are insecure, but run away because you want to build the new. Run away because you want to meet the, the people who are your brother and sister in humanity. And you are ready to let go all your limitation, your fear, your obsession, your neurosis, and ready to start new. So our higher self is our most important responsibility. And we need to make our higher self vibrate every day and live for that frequency. This is my, I think I'm hammering it. <laughs> I hope you listen and you hear it and it touch something in your heart or in your body or wherever it is, but it is the time. And this is really a call for wake up, wake up by yourself, for yourself, honoring your higher self, vibrate and connect. And if you need move, move out of a limited situation Somebody wants to abuse you with power. Somebody wants to make a threat on you. Somebody wants to play emotional game. Just say goodbye. It's the time to move. Okay. So we're going to meet together. We're going to gather again by small unit, by small community, and not the community of the 60s. You know, I was in that time, and I have been in these communities. Some were fantastic for the time, but they were still imprinted with the uh, hierarchic uh, 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 pyramidal structure. So these even have to go. We are in the world of circular authority. We are equal human beings, and the new community will totally change. So we cannot lean in the past. We have to recreate, reinitiate new way of socialization and how to live for each other, not hooked on each other. So this is, again, absolutely total responsibility. How can I be here for you, not in competition, not to suck your blood and uh, <coughs> take advantage and make profit on your back, but how can I share with you my talent, my love, my goodness, and how can we elevate each other? So this is the plan for the whole year to come. So think about it. Take your time. Don't react and be ready because time is on us and it's the time to move. So let's, uh, I have very short time now for the practice. Uh, I, so we're not going to do it full time, but I want to give you the three practice so you can expand it to the, to the formal time. So it is a time for ecstasy and higher self. So I, I thought Waiguru is the mantra we have been given to really be ecstatic, be expanded and elevate ourselves. And combine with pranayama, so uh, Waiguru, 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 Waijio. You know this mantra, Waiguru, 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 Waijio. And we repeat that uh, eight times on one Excel. So you, you bring your hands here means I am free of any conflict. I am totally balanced and non-dual. I am 
covered and protected and my heart is fully open, I can share and give because I am extremely prosperous and abundant. I have always more than I need. And this is what I want to share with you. And then we go with our head, focus on your third eye. We want to activate our third eye. And this is why a guru, why a guru, why a guru, why do you, why a guru, why a guru, why a guru, why do you, why a guru, why a guru, why a guru, why do you, why a guru, why a guru, why a guru, why do you. And we repeat this eight times on one Excel. Let's do it for two minutes. <laughs> I guess uh, I have a little reason to offer you on the back. So ready? Let's go for that. Close your eyes, the two eyes, and focus on this third eye, mid middle of your eyebrow and inside. And go. Inhale deep. Inhale deep. So I could do a few minutes because I have a deadline to the exhale. We have this meditation we initiate for uh, all Amritnam, but anybody, anybody who practice Kundalini or even not practice Kundalini can join at 7.30 every day uh, to uh, transform our resistance and bring a frequency of peace in the whole world. So it's 7.30. So I, I have to uh, hurry up to conclude this practice. So this is the first practice. Do it 11 minutes. You're going to fly. You're going to really eliminate, accumulate a lot of prana and especially activate your pituitary gland, which is what we need to get out of the hypnosis and rehabilitate our intuition. So the second practice is really break through the duality and the hypnosis, but we do it here. So we, our arms become uh, open and we crisscross in front of the heart, not in front of your eyes, but we wanted to do it here to especially uh, break the duality that can handicap your heart chakra. You know, heart chakra, that's where we we totally sacrifice duality to move into oneness. So everything that comes from me and others and separation in the heart become one. So we actually, by moving our arms in our magnetic field, we reunite our magnetic field. And <coughs> we're going to sound, we're going to sounding ah, 
Ah is a sound that we find in a deep heart. And you inhale very, very deep, and through the ah, you sound ah all a long, long, long exhale. Exhale as long as you can, then inhale deep, and again, just vibrate ah, like a child. Ah, yeah, is innocence, is opening. So let's do this for a few minutes. Here we go. Inhale deep, and you keep crisscrossing your hands in front of your heart. Open your chest, keep your spine straight, and go for it. Inhale. And then you go. Ah. deep this meditation can transform any negative emotion into ecstasy into opening and total compassion where you can understand so if you need to leave somebody to leave your family if you need to go away this is a fantastic thing to change the sadness into an amazing ecstasy uh, expansion of your field of love and include those you leave because there is no separation. We are one psychic, one humanity. Don't worry. Just choose to, where to be and how to be and honor yourself. Yeah. So you, this is a tool to transform any sort of sadness, any sort of losses. You're going to just totally heal that. The last one is just receive the grace of the divine. Offer your prayer. So this is a two-way business the grace of the divine is falling on you when you can offer your frequency of prayer that means i know the divine is not tricking me i'm not in threat and danger but i'm totally taking care like a baby and this is the ecstasy of waiguru waiguru waijio but we're going to sing it and offering our palm with the trust and the love so we put our arms parallel to the ground with the palm facing up. And if you want, you can do. I practiced this with the Yogi Bhajan. He gave it in Paris, uh, this meditation. And we had an orange in one hand and banana in the other one. So if you still found this orange and banana, you can do apple and banana, whatever. One is round, one is banana, yeah? And then this is the sun and moon. And you hold them in your hands. And when you finish, you eat them both together at the same time. Don't put them in a bowl. Just eat them like animal. Eat them. Because they are full of healing energy. Yeah? And we're going to sing, Waiguru, Waiguru, Waijiu. But this is singing from the heart. This is very romantic. This is totally ecstatic. So let's do it for three minutes. And after, we have to go to the other meditation. This beautiful version from Gyaniji is absolutely love in singing. Oh, 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 oh. 
stop our practice for this evening. Uh, I couldn't do it full time, but I hope you're going to keep up. And for this month to come, uh, 11 minutes each of these three meditation will make a very beautiful aura, will densify your space and bring you into a very secure place of unconditional love and intuitive perception of where to be where to, how to choose where to be and decide to follow your intuition so i bless you all love you all i wish you be in truth and authenticity and vibrate your frequency to the highest possible we need this today and see you soon so um yeah <laughs> come to the other uh a Zoom meeting for, I think some of you, you are used to be there. Those who are not, you're invited uh, to join us even on Instagram, INS Instagram, and uh, you can all join. We're gonna meditate and connect. Uh, man, this is the beautiful power we have is to unite our psychic and to vibrate together at the same time in this whole planet and impact the world. So see you soon, uh, love you. And anyway, next month for the <laughs> time is now. <laughs> it's really now. <laughs> Satnam. Paka. Bye bye. Thank you for all those have helped with translation and technical help. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, and uh, everybody invited uh, for this uh, practice in the morning. Uh, we will start tomorrow uh, at 6 uh, Central European time. We will send you and also Alex, I will uh, uh, lead this process for you in English and, and also with translation to Russian. And Alex uh, will do it at 6. Lesh, 6 to you? Я, я не слышу, но э, дай мне знать, у тебя в 6, да? Да, Семь. в 6. А. Всем по Москве. А, всем по Москве. Окей. Супер. Всем по Москве. И 8 по Москве я буду вести. Окей. Всем Стоп. по Москве в инстаграме АНС э, Раша. Угу. Да. И в Zoom э, everybody can join to Zoom at 6 Central European time, 7 in Kyiv and 8 in Moscow. Thanks for everybody. Uh, participants, thanks for translation and uh, see you soon.